This is a bill that in ordinary times would not be controversial. But these are not ordinary times. Thrust into the national spotlight, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson seized an opportunity to quell a growing controversy. We want to be a place that has the right balance between religious protections and religious freedom and uh, non-discrimination. We are Arkansas! But opponents of the so-called religious freedom law say it would simply allow business owners to discriminate against anyone for religious reasons. I think it's um, ironical at best that they're using religion um, as an excuse to pass something that can have either uh, intentions or unintentional consequences that are, are not good for a complete huge segment of our uh, population here. That population is the LGBT community. Opponents feel with the equality movement gaining steam nationwide, this kind of law represents pushback against that success. If it's done in the name of religion, it's, it's just, it's incomprehensible that anyone who really has a relationship with God would believe that, that was even necessary. And that's the thing. Why do some lawmakers find state legislation like this necessary, especially if it already exists on a federal level? Attorney and legal analyst Ariva Martin. The proponents of the law are saying, look, we simply want to give businesses, again, which is broader than that federal law, which defines the law in terms of persons, they, they're saying we want to give businesses the right to exercise their religious beliefs and feelings. Clearly, several other state legislatures agree, since nationwide, 20 states already have some kind of religious freedom laws on the books. Twelve other states introduced legislation this year. It became law in Indiana this week. But bills recently stalled in North Carolina and Georgia. God does not discriminate. In Arkansas, the state's biggest employer, Walmart, immediately urged Governor Hutchinson to veto it, saying diversity benefits business. I think that we have um, potentially opened the door for people to interpret this as the ability to treat others differently based on our religion, and I don't think that's what my religious beliefs are, and I don't think if Jesus were alive today that that's what he would be telling us to do. Ultimately, the governor has the last word, and he's calling for change.